With creativity comes challenge and change. With creativity, you get a victory or you don't have a victory. You stumble, you grow, you do different things. Creativity is an addiction because we keep going back to it. Or does it chase us? Either way, creativity is always going to be a part of what we do. You can't turn it off. Unplug because we will always say yes to creativity. Totally uncut because we all make mistakes. So turn it into a tool. This is Arrow Unplugged. It's kind of a weird day. Normally when I step inside the studio, it's dark outside. You can't see the trees, the leaves, the birds, the monkeys. Yeah, I've always believed my forest has monkeys in it. When I bring people to it, they go, where's the monkeys? Well, they're out there. They're out there. Trust me. Because they're watching us. They'll, they'll let you know when they want to be seen. You got monkeys in this forest? I got monkeys in this forest. Do you really have monkeys in this forest? Yeah. I haven't seen them, but I know there's monkeys out here. There's monkeys everywhere. It's like kangaroos. Kangaroos aren't just for Australia. Kangaroos are bouncing around everywhere. <laughs> Oh, man, you say that enough times and people will believe it. And and when they really do come to the forest, they're going to say, what's this I hear that you've got monkeys in your forest? I do. <laughs> and I love playing along like that because it's part of still being a kid. It's it's about being alive in the moment, being present in your place of now and, and just kind of giggling about it like two kids would. And, and, and if we do find a monkey out there, it's going to be like, oh, my God, you're so right. You have monkeys in your forest. I told you. I told you. <laughs> hey, it's Arrow. This is The Choice. This is what I was writing while the sun was waking up on a brilliant new day. Today, we're reading from October 6th, 2021. I'm going through an evolutional change right now. And I remember when the, the word evolution was something that nobody ever talked about. But I am going through an evolutional change. And these are the kind of changes that, that you know, they don't, they don't teach you about when you're in high school or when you go to college. It's just something that you learn about as you grow on this journey toward the horizon. Uh, working on the future is, is, is a big thing inside my heart. Working on the future. I speak a lot and I live a lot about being right here in the presence of now. I live in the present. Now, my wife, on the other hand, no, she's a heavy duty planner of the future. Eight o'clock this morning. What was she doing? Laying out the groundwork for what we're going to be doing tomorrow afternoon. And I'm like going, whoa, whoa, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, no. It's eight o'clock in the morning on this day right here, right now. This is what's going on. And, and, and you want to talk about what we're doing tomorrow afternoon when we haven't even gotten this day started yet. And that kind of stuff just freaks me out because I do live in the presence of now and not everybody under, understands that style of life. It's a very difficult thing to do to be in two different places at the same time. I'm all about being mindfully present and what is now and totally respect her decisions of being prepared for what's coming our direction but 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 let me put it this way all week all she has talked about is how we were supposed to get all of this rain it was supposed to be torrential downpours we haven't seen one drop of rain all week see she's been planning all week for the torrential downpours all of that energy all of those worries all of those plans Poof, gone all of that time that you're not going to get back yet if you live in the moment of now no energy is wasted on what could or might be you see i've always called myself a silent watcher i'm able to see people stress out over things that have never happened but their mind says this is the way it's got to be i was in a movie premiere last night big movie premiere and 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 the, the theater people were a little freaked out because there were going to be a lot of people there of wealth and 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 you know they wanted to make sure it was perfect and they needed this and they needed this and they needed this and and it's like i i, I do this all the time guys you no know, whoa, whoa you're, you're you're freaking out over nothing let those who've done this before who do this all the time let us just do our thing let's let's meet together let's have some conversations and let's grow together and let's have a perfect night and it was perfect i mean it was so incredible because we lived in the presence of now not trying to write the story before it happens but rather live the story as it's happening the ability to fear over something that has not been put into play is something that you've got to get under control. You've got to learn how to put yourself right 
here. It's a choice, and it does require a lot of focus. I'm Arrow, and that's what I was writing while the sun was waking up on a brilliant new day.